Hi everybody, Golden Era Bookworm here. Today I have the pleasure of starting a new series on Serge Nubre, one of the most aesthetic bodybuilders to come out of the Golden Era. Look at him, staring at himself. Jesus Christ, am I that aesthetic? God damn it, you were Serge Nubre. Fantastic. Today we're going to look at his shoulder routine. And of course, Serge was one of the most aesthetic bodybuilders of all time because he paid particular importance in achieving aesthetics. Let's look at his particular shoulder routine uh, in the next few slides. Now Serge was very adamant about not using heavy weight and the reason why he actually said this was because although he was a very powerful lifter, uh, there are some photos of him for example using some very heavy poundage in the squat and the bench press, he actually would not ever use his maximum poundage because he would argue that this would lengthen the workout and therefore not allow the workout to be performed at a fast pace by the bodybuilder. Instead he would use moderate poundage for him. For us of course his poundages that he used in his workouts were fantastic, were huge, but um, in his own workouts these would be moderate relative to his strength and this would allow him to concentrate on the movement and concentrate on the muscle. Many times during his seminars, he always pointed this out and people would often comment that it would be like when he when they saw him working out, it was like they, he wasn't actually even struggling, that he was really concentrated concentration on the contraction and on the movement itself. And that was the whole point. That's exactly why he, why he said to not use heavy weight. As he put it once in a seminar, Otherwise, all you're thinking is about lifting the weight instead of moving and contracting the muscle. Very intelligent way of looking at bodybuilding. Further to his recommendations, specifically for the deltoids, he recommended doing about 30 sets, about 30 sets, with very little rest, and that these workouts per body parts, for each body part, should last no longer than 45 minutes, with approximately three to four exercises. Um, he was very adamant though on about on, on actually choosing one main exercise for the body part and keeping it. And if he would use three exercises for that particular body part, he would regularly change two of them, always keeping the main exercise. And in regards to the change of these exercises, it would depend on the person's physique. He always says assess your physique and choose the appropriate exercises that are needed. Again, very, very good recommendations from the, from the Black Panther. Now the main foundation, the main exercise which his shoulder routine was based on was the press behind the neck. And no doubt that it was the foundation of his routine. I mean, look at those deltoids about to explode in his back, rippling with exertion. He would of course use poundage that would allow him to use anywhere between six to 10 sets at 12 to 15 reps when performing the exercise. Uh, one other thing is that with this as the foundation, he would then use other exercises to supplement his training, again, based on what he needed. He performed lateral raises, standing usually of all kinds, whether it was the front, the side, he would use dumbbells or cables. He would do them one arm at a time, sometimes alternated, and sometimes simultaneously. Again, varying the exercise depending on what was needed. Look at these phenomenal shots of Serge pumping up with those dumbbells, old school style, phenomenal. Lateral raises lying was an actual favorite of him and actually one of Arnold's too. Uh, uh, I guess a, a forgotten exercise of nowadays, not often performed now, but performed a lot in the golden era. He actually recommended these for side and the rear delt. Again, all these exercises, all exercises for the, for the deltoid group would be um, about 12 to 15 reps and the total of all these exercises would amount to 30 sets. Another final exercise that he actually enjoyed was the barbell upright row for the development of the trapezius muscle. He again would often use 10 sets 
12 to 15 reps for this particular exercise. So there you have it. Um, I've given you the recommendations of Serge Nubre. Of course, now knowing that the press behind the neck was the staple exercise in his program, you can yourself now try the different exercises that he recommended and create your own programs based around Serge Nubre's principles. I hope you've enjoyed this uh, presentation on Serge Nubre's shoulder recommendations and routines. If you've liked the video, please give it a like, thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't, and leave me a comment. Thank you for watching. This is the Golden Era Bookworm. Stay tuned for more on Serge Nubre, and please check out my Patreon account for more detailed and exclusive information. Bye for now.